Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we expanded our farming opportunities as well as increase the amount of things in the yard. And when I say increase, yeah, we actually put some stuff in there. Uh, we then obviously built things like the uh, library and the mail room. There's an overdose there, but someone has got them. And then put some more stuff in the common room we also had a couple of events as well which meant that people tried to escape but overall we uh, i think did quite quite well there so not too bad at all in this episode i want to continue on uh, put some heating in these rooms up the top and then look at potentially getting some more uh, some more prisoners so let's take a look at the heating situation i'm just going to go over to objects and to the radiator i'm going to place a radiator one two actually we'll place it where can i place it one two three four that's quite okay and then for the heating of that i'm going to run water pipes right across and then down because it wouldn't connect up to that one. well it would connect up but it wouldn't reach that far whereas this water boiler i think will be fine so that's the heating sort of there we have a similar problem over this side but i need to build another one of these water boilers and place it over here so we'll have to see um that's the thing actually i've put that there but i really need to figure out where this water boiler will go so that's the middle of that i believe is that correct it is not correct that is instead right it is nine by cancel that by nine yeah so that's the middle so that'll be the building that will be actually down here isn't it so it's sort of that size no that size that's the water boiler here so i'd have to run a pathway around it at least fits in <laughs> at least this this field here hasn't encroached upon it so that's fine that's what i'm mainly focused on we have a total of 56 prisoners that obviously hasn't increased but that's what we're hopefully going to try and sort let's put a bit of flooring in places because it's looking a bit messy isn't it so over to flooring we will check out the reclaimed flooring there reclaimed flooring is going to go along here and in there i know it's a bit of money and we've only got seven grand but i've been meaning to do this for quite some time for the infirmary and the morgue we will have the usual i think let me just have a quick check just make sure all this flooring is in as it should be which it is the infirmary and morgue i really like the ceramic floor but it's also very expensive so i'm going to treat myself to a bit of ceramic floor in the morgue and then we'll have some white tiles in here <laughs> that's as far as i can really push that for everything up the top here ideally actually you know what? i'm going to treat myself to some ceramic floor in the pantry as well up the top here i really want to have some probably wooden floor but we've seen what happens when i try to build it in the chapel that just didn't go well and visitation is also probably wooden floor so we'll have to forget about that for now we have not much cash because it goes quite quickly and obviously we are running certain programs as well you can see people are outside there, 7 degrees C, while working out. But at least their needs will be fulfilled. Although danger level is going up. I'm just going to check that then. We have needs. It's exercise and recreation. Well, there's loads of it. Actually, comfort and clothing. I don't know why clothing, of all things, people are asking for. Is it a lack of laundry machines or laundry baskets? There are loads of laundry baskets out there and loads of uniforms. It might just be because they're wet. Clothing and comfort. Let's just keep an eye on Peter Silent Lation here. What's he going to do? Uh, well, he's going to eat because he has to go and eat. Fair enough. Okay, whatever. Let me just check uh, over here in the objects. Fertilizer. It is the compost fertilizer. Once again, going to set up all of that. And there's some carrots. I also, for a long time, have not been checking out any of the traits because we've just not needed to it is a low a low risk facility we've got some unknown traits across the board there you can see we've got like snitch and foodie and quick and green thumb and volatile and supplier ex law enforcement etc but there's some unknown traits as well what i'm looking for is for them to get the there's a trait that the, the prisoners can get which makes them healthier because they've been eating 
homegrown produce, basically. And I'm hoping to see that at some point. But we'll have to keep an eye on that one. So, now that the workers have pretty much finished what they're doing, I'm going to build over here. So, I want... We've already got the walls in, so I guess it'll just be straight foundation then. So foundations more, and then the reclaimed wood, like that. The flooring with the reclaimed brick is going to go along here. And that'll require an entrance. This will have a door, staff type, and this is going to be our water boiler. And there's five grand for the power export, which is good. I also want to put in the reclaimed wood wall across there once this is built finally. Although it's taking some time. There we go, to put the door on that. So that's now done. I'm going to place that there. And when I'm doing those walls, it's probably going to mess up with the setting of uh, the setting of the Types. Let's have a quick staff only. Oh, it didn't actually. I thought it was going to totally mess it up, but it didn't. So this is staff only. This is just going to be where we have our other water boiler. So utilities, large water boiler will go in there. And then we will connect up both the electricity, which we currently haven't got. I'm just going to run that to there, just so we know that that's all set up for the future and now I can put in the radiators so the radiators we'll put in in this common room I'll put a couple of them in I guess we can go for one in this corner and one in that corner and then in here we technically need one as well it's gonna be quite difficult to place a radiator in here although do we want the cooler to be cool <laughs> maybe actually maybe I'm gonna place the Radiators there and have the solitaries are just a bit chilly. That's probably in breach of several uh, human rights pieces of legislation, but there we are. He says, There we are, as like a matter of course, like, Oh, we're not doing any harm. Yes, it's bad, but uh, well, it's pixels. Um, I'm sure we've done worse. There's the water boiler put in there and also some prison intake. Let me just go ahead and check out our water pipe, which is. Going to have to be ran from. Strangely, I've done this. I actually want to build the one down the bottom as well. And the mayor's calling. Hopefully, so we can, yeah, put TVs back in. So common room. We'll go back in the bottom where the common room should be. Foundations, more, and then once again the reclaimed wood. And just want to come down. And there we are. That's it. Naturally, we'll have to have, well door first and then we'll set that to staff only danger level is hovering there once again it's we have these like needs that they sort of cannot fulfill a lot of them and a lot of prisons are getting stuck see out there we're getting a bit stuck which is strange we've also just spent a bit of money on the taser rollout as well at least the spiritual guidance is on the go which is pretty good and there's what on earth? State effects smelly. What they need new uniforms? Do they? I'm guessing so. I'm looking at here. We've got enough tables. We have probably. I mean, it could be. It could be more laundry machines. Perhaps. Well, there's three more laundry machines in. And there's enough ironing boards there, I think. But I'm not seeing, strangely, many uniforms coming back. There's loads of them. And they are going out. You can see with these baskets. I think there's I think there's everything in there that they need. It's just it's taking time to fulfill it. So we'll see how we get on. I am gonna obviously put in these other connections. Once they've uh, put in the three laundry machines. It could be the laundry machines, but only one's actuating at any one time. I can see that. There's an OD, but no, they are being taken. That's fine. So they just need a bit of water. 
just run that up like that. And for the water pipe, it's going to run into there. Water boiler in there. Hot water pipe is going to run. Well, we've run it. How have we run it? From there, up. And then this is going to go across like that. And then just connect up to those. That should be fine. And I'm not going to do the rest until I've finished off uh, the dormitory. At least that'll be warm. Solitary, he's got 92 hours in solitary there. That's uh, Prisoner New Baddy. I've only put the standard solitary doors in, by the way. I didn't use the other ones. Let's have a quick look. Doors. It's these doors secure, which has got like a little food flap. I didn't put those in menu because I just forgot about it. I just went, oh yeah, and just did the usual one. There's all of our food there. How we're doing for distribution. Eh, it's all right. We've got a number of ingredients there. I mean, anything that says is ready to go off. Oh, look at that, the peaches and stuff. We've got peaches, oranges, carrots, the chief calling. We've just discovered that one of our teachers bringing to the inmates' classes have been smuggling huge amounts of contraband. They've been fired, but the damage has been done at this point. Okay, so that's going to be a shakedown straight away. Let's see what happens here. It seems to be some cigs, booze, shears, ropes, etc. And nothing major. I mean, I say nothing major. Shears are severe, but I think most of it's been just probably brought in and detected anywhere. Last 24 hours. Yeah, they've been trying to nick stuff, like oranges and such. The ropes have been nicked from the laundry, which we would have expected. Uh, and a knife. Alright, okay. Right, let's go ahead with our seven grand. And I do want to build... I mean, I, I want to build another... Cell block, don't I? Oh, good grief, look at all this. Featherstone, we've got a Featherstone. Duncan Featherstone there. Prisoner, age 31. Prisoner number 9769523. Sentenced to 11 years for money laundering. Family. Yeah, has a mother, age 62, and a father, age 57. In here for money laundering and pleaded guilty. Served 5.6 years. Yeah. By the way, if you're not... If you're unsure what the Featherstone reference was when we very first started the series, there was a lot of Featherstones... Up to no good, and uh, we named the prison that, and it's sort of stuck ever since. Right, let's go ahead and sack it. Over to grants, I'm going to increase our bank loan to 100,000 and go to... <laughs> okay, quick build, cloning. Select all of that. Click. And that's going to take quite some time. Quite some time indeed. But, I think it's about time we do it. There's all of the stuff being brought in on the right hand side. Loads of concrete. Endless supply of concrete and steel. And apparently a full truck needed to supply 20 potato seeds. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. But, at least it's uh, functioning. How are we doing for power? Still charging up batteries, so we're still all right. Ten prisoners passed the foundation education course. One prisoner has passed. Good. This is good, I guess. Haven't really seen our room quality. Good grief, the room quality for that is terrible. But we haven't got uh, the cleared for transfer stuff on. Upgrades will only motivate prisoners with the clear for transfer DLC installed and the prisoner transfers option turned on on the map settings, which we have not got on. So, there you are. I could put more stuff in the dormitory, but I think it's fine as is. I'm going to hire another two staff. I don't know if we need more farmers or not. Hmm. There's always work for them to do. Hire some more. They're always up to, those are always up to uh, something. So, once again, fertilizer. We are down to 
under 300 now, under, oh, 157 there. So that's pretty good. Because we still need to purchase 10 bags of fertilizer, whereas previously, because it was auto, set to auto fertilize, they just didn't do it. <laughs> it's just, they were just buying and buying and buying. We had over a thousand. So, yeah. I do want to use some of our money to put, like, flooring and visitation up the top here, but naturally, the workers are doing something slightly more slightly more important. Let's do a tunnel search. 28 places to search. Just the toilets. So obviously it doesn't mean that we're going to find anything, but we have a higher chance of finding something if we look. Oh, there's a... F what's that? That is a booze bag. Oh, okay, a booze bag. Let's have a quick check at that then. So there's all stash stations. Last 24 hours. A booze bag. So it is a bag with straw coming out the top. So is that... Is that then... Is that genuinely just... Booze? Booze bag owner unknown. It was... Smuggled. Where from? Doesn't really say. Smuggled from them. Right. And found there. But see, it... I can't really see where it starts. Doesn't st I thought it would start there, but it doesn't. That's just an arrow. That's as if it was going out. It seems to have got almost going out and then appear over here again. Curious. Anyway, full search, I think. And let's search now 290 places. If we had the warden, which increased the... Oh, there's the tunnel. So we did a tunnel search, didn't find anything, and then a normal search has yielded a tunnel. Fine remove said tunnel and prioritize the removal of that. As I was saying, the... Yeah. <laughs> the search. I mean, what's going on there? That's uh, ludicrous. Ludicrous. So we've got 290 places to search. That's increasing because of our... Well, increasing size of the prison. And looking over here, we've got, for breakfast, we've got cooked ingredients cooked greens of some kind. We've got oranges there for breakfast and carrots. Not too sure what type of uh, breakfast that would be. I mean the oranges, yeah, nice. Person like a uh, grapefruit juice in the morning. And a tea. But I'm all shouting for literacy needs. What's the best thing to, for literacy needs then? I mean we've got the library, but it's just taking quite some time. What are we on for regime? Could we increase the regime to have more work? Possibly. Is that the best thing to do? Probably not. Probably not. Either way, we have this. Technically, they've got the foundation in. They're just going to take quite some time to build it. We have all of these guys working. And there's our search done. And a lot of guards. Are they busy? We've got eight free guards, so no, they're not busy. And we're not maxed out here. I wonder if anyone wants to be a confidential informant. No. No potential CIs. Or people shouting for clothing. Ironically, the ones that are working in the laundry are shouting for clothing. I don't know if it's... Is it a prisoner uniform thing? Mm. I don't think I can get, no. I don't think I'm buying uniforms. I'm buying a doormat. Not that that would help them. Okay. How are we doing for our programs? Alcoholics group is on the go. Guard taser. We can stop that one. Parole hearing is working. We've got pharmacological treatment to drug addiction. 15 passed 55%. I'm happy with that. But we've only had 1% pass on the foundation education program. But we are still running it. Uh, farm safety. We have 9 interested. 49 finished. 22 passed. Alright. Workshop safety and kitchen safety are also on the queue there. But we haven't set them going. And we've got flower therapy. And solar panel development. Flower therapy then. 
sessions will be based around the idea of calming and relaxing prisoners and giving them something to care and look after. So, requires groundkeeping, which we have. So, flower therapy would be... Yeah, a flower garden. I could just turn all this into a flower garden at the back. I think with these three, and remember we're going to clone it to this side as well. Do we really need any more? I don't think so. Another option is I can just put, say, it like that. No, because minimum size is 5x5, five five, so it would have to be that. What does the flower garden in the quick build do? Let's have a quick look at that. There's a hedge maze. <laughs> it's quite nice, actually. Um, Grove. Flower garden. That's the size of the flower garden that's given us. Right. It's quite small, so we still need a shed by the look of it. Is that right? Um, no. You don't. And for a flower garden, it says you don't need it. Strange. Strange. Anyway. Danger level is increasing. Mainly because of the unnecessarily being searched. And they have some serious complaints. Recreation and exercise. Because it's 4 degrees C, winter and raining, they're not wanting to go outside to use the weight benches. So maybe it is time I get the gym up and running. It's a possibility. But we can't do anything yet until we've sorted this out. Although, let's see. Yeah, tie levels of contraband again. Let's see if we get the fertilizer done. I don't think it'll be done, but it'll be close to. 129 we've got. The next couple should should work out fine, I think. And there's carrots just sitting around. I don't know if we need more fridges and freezers. Do we need any more? Do we need more? Do we need more? Cooking, uh, cookers and such. Do we need more stove? Let's have a look. Cookers. So we're just going to go really along here. Hmm. We've been hindered somewhat by the placement of these sprinklers. I guess we could place... What's going on there? More fighting? Sounds like... There's booze bags. One... There's more booze bags. There's a booze bag. There's a booze bag. There's a booze bag. They're being found straight away. Okay. An orange was taken. So that, yeah, they're not, they're not allowed an orange... What's happening is they're taking oranges from the canteen and then they're using that. Let's have a quick look. Why are they? Exercise, recreation, and alcohol. Ah, right. I think that's what it is. Because the need for alcohol, they've been trying to brew it. And then it's not worked out. Okay. Fair enough. We are on 20 grand. We are getting only one point six a day naturally we have d taken out a massive loan so five grand a day is our payback i'm gonna mm, i can't decrease our loan you need 25 grand to decrease it but you can see that we are now getting a lot of prisoners arriving 31 in fact because they are going to go here was that the janitor there doing stuff in the prison, yeah, over there in the prisoner uniform. They're doing the laundry. And there's loads of stuff that... Yeah, they're trying to smuggle stuff through. All of these oranges and such. I mean, we knew that was going to happen. But at least we're stopping them, which is why we've got that checkpoint there. Uh, so it is... Fertiliser. This should get this done now, surely. Close. Just over 50. And there is 20 grand... Grant completion for increasing our prisoner capacity. We have overproduction. I'll set that going. Five grand advance payment. And this is to sell 50 harvested carrots, potatoes, etc. Half it is going to 
the exports, I believe. Let me just double check that. Yeah, so half of it is going to exports, half of it is going to the kitchen. Yep, that is set up. Actually, for this one, for the corn, that's actually in the, well, the corn, the barley and the, what was it, corn, barley and wheat? That's just getting straight sold. But we get 10 grand if we do that, so it's a fairly decent one to go for. There is our intake, lots of people uh, for visitation and also eventually we'll get some people back there. I'm going to decrease the bank loan by a little bit because we can and I'm going to hire some more staff so I'm going to hire another 10 guards another dog handler and then double that again and probably a couple more cooks and I do need I think to put more stuff in the kitchen these sprinklers are a bit annoying in their placement I'm going to move them to there to there same thing down the bottom because then it means we can fit more fridges in here which shouldn't be a big problem. There's lots of prison prisoner uniforms uh, getting bought, as well as a lot of other stuff as well. Mainly body armor for the guards that I've just got, because they're going to run to the armory <laughs> and use that. Yeah. Still haven't actually got the prisoners, by the way, because all of these shower heads are just <laughs> we're waiting this this uh, the completion of this basically. In terms of other grants, I don't think there's much else we can pick up. What's it? Oh yeah, 59 prisoners are arriving. We're still waiting for the arrival. It technically have been uh, sent, so they're they're on a bus somewhere back here in the uh, in the Nether. <laughs> but they'll get there, get there eventually. We do have this all nice and warm, which is fine. Um, I don't think we need heat anywhere else. Obviously, working outside is potentially a problem. And I'm just keeping an eye on these crops here. Oh, yeah, we are selling carrots. So there'll be potatoes and cabbage and the other stuff. They'll sell eventually. It doesn't uh, retro retroactively sort it out. So, you know, there's not like... It's not gone back and said, Ah, oh, you've sold this amount previously. There you go. And have I just done that grant? I think so. Yeah, so I've got the farming grant done, which is excellent. We have advanced farming, which is research the farming bureaucracy task, assign 10 prisoners to work within the farming room, uh, purchase either a drip pipe or a crop sprinkler, purchase the compost bin, produce 10 compost fertilizer, harvest 500 ripened crops of any type. So actually, picking that up wouldn't be too bad, because I think most of it we are... Most of it we'd get, but I'm tempted to ignore it, and instead of that, go for cell block D, because it's a, no, it's 10 grand advance payment, oh, that's only 5 grand, and the manufacturing facility is not bad as well, 30 grand. If I got the research for farming there, advanced farming, we've got the research, we've got the assignment, Got the compost bin, we got the fertilizer. We don't, but we could get it. And then harvest fifty ripen five hundred ripens crops. And it's just purchase a drip by drip pipe or crop sprinkler right now. You know what? I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get advanced farm because we've got the majority of that done, if you see. Uh we need to produce Oh, produce ten composted fertilizer, which we're working on with this compost bin, because it's waste, you see. And I just purchase a drip pipe. I mean, I am going to purchase a drip pipe, alright? But, I'm just going to place it... Now, why didn't that... Why can't that place not place there? I guess I'll have to remove one of these, will I? Because uh, I just want to place it. Oh, you know what I could do? It's a bit... It's, it's very... It's cheating but there's that oh no hang on we can't do it there but well, we can but it's pointless uh, place it there put in objects a drip pipe 
remove it. It's just there for the grant. That's oh, just unpin that. That's not what I wanted to do. So I've got that. The automation stuff I'll do later on, if at all. And what I'm going to do then is, I guess now. This compost fertilizer, you can see, we're now having to buy it. So I'm going to check out our policy right to the bottom, and I'm going to say automatic compost. I'm going to let them crack on with that because we've already done it. Because we do need to produce it, but that's what them, them bins are going to do. And we are harvesting lots and lots of stuff there, actually. You can see we've already done the harvest 50 potatoes, working on the carrots, and cabbages as well and the other stuff will take a little while to to do we have 62 prisoners arriving shortly but they're still trying to take these drains <laughs> um yeah i mean I'm, I'm just gonna have to get <laughs> loads more workers we're just so short on workers i mean i thought 12 was enough but no we need some more i'll be i'll be firing them soon enough which is the worst thing at least we can see all of our crops there. Oh yeah, smelly status effects. <laughs> and there's all the oranges and stuff they're trying to smuggle out. Be oh, let's hang on, see Osborne there? He went through that way. That's cheeky. That's cheeky. There's a uh, Duncan Featherstone going out. I think what we'll do is have a checkpoint in here. Followed by another door. Oh, hang on, no. Fence. And prioritise the building of that. And then it means... At least we're getting more people back out. Coming in here, I'm not really too bothered what contraband to bring in. Bear in mind that they're going through all sorts of things anywhere, like the... Like the metal detectors here, you can see them. Yeah, this Featherstone found a knife. You've got found a knife on him. You know, they're going past all sorts. So a lot of the stuff we're finding on them, it's just uh, coming out can potentially be a problem. What's? Why is that? Why is that scan machine not working? It's connected up, right? It is connected up. I think it's because it's full. Yeah, I think that's that's just saying it's full. Curious. Curious. Well, we still haven't got these prisoners who have been on a bus for at least 24 hours. Possibly even 36 by now. I've prioritised the building of this and the workers have taken... Basically not paying any attention whatsoever to that. I think because... The building of this overrides it because it was a quick build. And, ah, oh yeah, we're having these doors. Let's lock open. Fine, yeah, I can at least select it. And lock them open so they can work on that. That's much better. At least this is slowly going down now. <laughs> I'm very tempted to... Potentially. Oh, hang on. There is once again Tim Newell who has came out of solitary and immediately has decided that the best course of action would be to start beating everybody over the head. So I'm going to guard response. Guard this area here. Which were the... No, no, it doesn't matter. They've, they've been tasered. That's why we did the taser rollout. <laughs> Specifically for him. Yeah. Anyway, um, have a quick look here. We've got 10 prisoners passing the foundation education course. 40% have now passed, so that's another three prisoners have went through that. And we're obviously working on things like selling apples and stuff like that. And we're actually doing pretty well. It says harvest 50 ripened, uh, 500 ripened crops of any type. We're on, well, we're on 30% of that. So just with this, I would say quite modest farming solution system here. We're doing alright. There's loads of people all the oranges. They're trying to smuggle oranges and it's just not working out. Or finding them. 
It's uh, currently sleep time and yeah, loads of people are going to have stuff on them so let's do a full shakedown. 442 places to search and you can see people are now living in the left hand dormitory which is now finished. Immediately just uh, as I mentioned it, it got finished. It is technically in but as you can quite clearly see we need a lot more things in here. So heating which will go up to there. So I'm going to do both sides. So let's get this put in. And naturally the radiators, same thing. I'll do the left hand side first because otherwise I'll just get mixed up. So this will be a lot of the water and the power is already in but the plumbing is not. So there's that and then this one again coming across and connecting up to the radiators because the prisoners rightly so with it being one degrees will be complaining about the cold and there we go and then the water pipes follow a similar premise it's just down and across like that and I'm sure there'll be one or two bits that I've missed but hopefully we'll be alright once again it just goes down and across we can see we found two of these booze bags and that'll increase as we progress on and find more things just pause that and once again a lot of work for the workers to crack on with but hopefully once that's sorted we'll be alright uh, still waiting for these prisoners to arrive you can see the we've got all these other trucks and stuff we're on 60 or oh, 46 prisoners of 112 and it says in transit it says fill capacity the prisoners close to new inmates because they are technically still on their way danger level is high mainly because of the searching I'm guessing and a need for exercise because because it's raining they're not they're not getting that and obviously you have work slash free time and a lot of people working as well so actually the prisoners the prisoners running quite quite at its uh, sort of ma not max level but quite high and that's a food tray <laughs> with two oranges that the guard really did did you have that Are we trying to sneak some food in <laughs> oh good grief and there's a big intake there. That'll be the prisoners arriving. Yep, the prisoners are arriving. And actually, a lot of prisoners, they're all, they've all got unknown traits. Well, most of them have got unknown traits. Yeah. Green thumb, dealer, skilled fighter. Still not getting this, like, nice bonus. Well, good grief, that's a lot of cash coming in. That's good. Once we get over a certain amount, which we've now got, I'm going to decrease our bank loan. I'm just going to keep paying off that bank loan. I think it's important that we do that. And that's probably one of the biggest intakes we've had for quite some time, isn't it? So we have... Hang on. Our capacity is 112. And it's... Give us 153 prisoners. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> well, I did not touch our intake. It's always been fill capacity with Minsec open only. What's probably happened is when some of these rooms have been ready, it sent the prisoners and put them on the bus ready to come in. The bus hasn't spawned, but it's been in the queue to spawn. This is surmising, knowing <laughs> not at all how the... Uh, it actually works, but because they've been sitting waiting to spawn and they haven't turned up for over a day, it's generated again because it's still checked that. So yeah, it, the check has been, we've got this amount of prisoners, this is, the, this is the difference, send more. And now we are massively over capacity. So I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, next episode we may fail the game. <laughs> well, it's going to be problematic to say the least because I have these prisoners 
and I can't do anything about them. There's nowhere for them to go. The only thing I can think of is pretty much just build the other dormitory and turn off our intake. What what other option do we have? Take out a massive loan. Probably I was going I was about to get rid of a lot of these workers. We've got 20 workers. I'm thinking of doubling down and getting another 10 workers. I mean, doubling, not doubling the work force, doubling down and buying the work extra workers that we did. I don't know, is that the way forward? I really don't know. Either way, we do need to expand the kitchen and find somewhere for these prisoners to go, because that's a problem. Either way, we're still happy with the way the the gardening stuff is. Uh, still have flooring to do, and I know we spent a lot of time on here, but I think it's been worth it. So we've got some more prisoners, just a couple more than we anticipated, but either way, we shall see what the problems are in the next episode. Comments in the comments, hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far. Thanks very much for watching, take care, and generic partings.